so as you can see basically we're going to just keep painting on this now you can can paint some of this in 3d um on you know you can get a a uh what do i want to say you can get a oh how do i want to explain it you can you can actually build uh photoshop from i think cs5 and up uh, maybe cs4 uh, they actually have where you can actually paint from a layer and, and kind of paint on your texture. Me personally, I don't really care for that. And the reason I just don't care for it is because of the simple fact that this, um, you know, I, I kind of grew up with this and doing this. Um, and I, I'm bouncing back and forth between the two windows as I paint. Um, and the painting on the 3D file works really good. Um, it slows, I find there's just a little bit of a lag on my system when I do it. So that's kind of why I'm, I do it the old school method. And it's not anything bad or, or, or anything like that. You can simply just paint your layers. And now I always always paint my layers um, significantly bigger than than what I'm doing with. I always paint my layers significantly bigger than what I'm doing uh, for an end texture, because when you scale it down, that end texture just tends to give you a little bit, you know, tighten it up a little bit. And so I'm just kind of going in here. And it doesn't look like much, just kind of painting and just going in here. Oops, didn't want the shadows. And just making sure I've got like this. And <clears throat> so once that's done, once that's uh, the details, or once the base colors are done here, then what I'm going to do, and as long as I'm happy with you know the end result here, and, and I can just kind of keep playing and and kind of um, just kind of clean up this a little bit. So once the end result is done with that then what I'm going to do is take a look at this I'll save it here and then when you go into your um, 3d file here you can kind of see what's what's what and what needs to be saved and what needs to be adjusted so from here um, I'm seeing a big seam here and I want to get rid of this seam along here now there's a couple ways to do this uh, you know, I can go in and I can I can hand paint that out or try and blend them together. And honestly, I would say something easy, even easier to kind of work with is simply to take um, simply to take this texture or whatever, uh, however you want to call it, and go back in here. So what I'm going to do, and I'm just kind of as I do this, I'm just kind of looking around to see, you know, what's popping and what's not, and that type of thing. Um, but you can see there's there's little joints here that need to be adjusted, um, and just just some bits and pieces that need to be kind of tweaked together a little bit here and there. Um, and I'd probably want to round out this over here a little bit, make it a little bit thicker. Um, but you know, all of that stuff can be kind of added in as you continue to paint. Now for this, I'm just going to come up here, and I'm grab my highlights, and I'm just going to, my highlight, I'm just painting real basic line there. I'm holding shift to, to click and drag, um, and so that's going to give me a little bit of, of emphasis in the background there. 
Uh, what else can I do? I can go in and paint and blend this together for my highlights. And now, as I as I you know start working on this, um, you know the shadows are way too dark, so I'm just going to kind of lighten those up. And then these would be the 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 seat cushions here. So I'm going to lower the opacity on those. And then what I'm going to do is I've got the secondary layer of opacity. And you can see here, we're just going to lower that a little bit, something like that. And so now you can see between these, these three layers here, uh, you can start seeing some of the stuff kind of blend together. I'm going to try doing really quickly, I'm going to just try erasing uh, real quick on the highlights here. And just to kind of give you that, that base color. And that should kind of relieve some of that crack if you will or that seam and then what I'm going to do is you know I've got kind of the the set out layer here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab a new layer and I'm going to say okay I'm going to pick a multiply and what I'm going to do is simply add in and this is on a new layer so I'm going to go into a multiply mode here and I'm going in and simply Kind of with my hardness down, I'm going to draw an X like so. And now, what I'm going to do is zoom in there and just kind of with the eraser on a soft kind of. And then so now I've got this uh, kind of button piece here and what I'm going to do is now this being on a new layer what I'm going to do is simply go in and start laying some of this down It doesn't look like much now. But let's merge that layer, merge that layer, merge that layer. And then we can go in and grab this. I'm just going to grab that over there. And then I'm going to go in and grab one of these and select and transform. And I'm going to rotate it about 45. And we're just going to move that same one right around there, like so. And then I can take one of these again, and we're going to start by and then I'm going to transform it down just a hair smaller. And And something like that and then in the highlight section 
I'm using a lot of the same color. What else I'm going to do is just put the highlights. I'm just going to give you kind of a shiny. And up here, I'm only doing it on like kind of half the side. And that's going to give me. All right. And then I can hit save. And we jump back to our main screen here and simply move. And we've got kind of that style going on, that kind of theme. Um, so that's already that's already starting to look pretty nice. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to get some of the highlights. And what I don't like right now is the simple fact that this is kind of awkward here. Um, and it's what I'm going to do is simply grab some of this bright light here in the highlights and we'll go back to our main screen here and I'm going to go grab some of these highlights on the sides here and so let's see here brush make sure it's soft and we're just going to kind of so and we're going to grab some of the highlights up here and that's going to come right off like so and I think on the sides here so I'm just going to kind of rub that like that and so uh, what else? I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to just uh, again save it and jump over to my main window. And you can see things starting to kind of take effect. Um, so that looks, that's, I, I've got some issues yet. I still have some, like, some tweaking to do. But otherwise, it's starting to come along. Things are, are starting to look a little bit nicer. Um, and from uh, just a, a small polygon standpoint, um, it looks pretty decent. I can go in to this area here. I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow um, going into this area here. I'll just Jump back to the Cintiq. I'm going to grab in a little bit of this. And I've got my shadows in there. But I'm going to just add a little bit more in the gradients here. And something like that. And that adds you know, quite a bit of information there. Uh, the one other thing that I wanted to do is I'm going to go on my trim here and really quickly with a hard brush I'm going to just kind of block in where these legs are pieced together and the only reason I'm doing that is because it then gives me if something ever happens where I need to the bottom here I've already got that done, so just gonna go in here. Just kind of add that trim. I'll even probably do something like this. Like so. And then we can just do a real quick, because I've already masked it off, I can just do a real quick dark trim. And if you don't like the way that, that tr bottom trim looks, we can simply just start 
making it a little bit more even. Kind of paint them like so. Not too worried about the underside though, so this looks good for now. Uh, what else can I do? Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is with everything kind of being put together, um, I'm going to, uh, it's, you know, it's starting to come along, but I want a little bit more style in here. So what I'm going to do is go into the trim here on the shadows, and we are just going to kind of uh, just add some decoration, design. I don't, I don't know what I want yet. Maybe something like this in the corner. some of this here and something along the lines of like that. I'm just kind of coming up with some ideas here. And let's undo that. Then we go in the highlights here. And just by painting over all this. And you know, you might do something and you might decide, oh, I just don't like that. So you can go in and kind of play with, with the different pieces. Um, and see how it looks. And if you don't like it, then move on and just don't, don't spend too much time on one thing. Uh, and I kind of like that. It's got some potential. Um, needs a little bit of tweaking, I think. So that's that's a little bit, like I said, a little bit tweaking here and there. And so we go back into our highlights and kind of play around. And then go back into the shadows. And just make sure the shadows kind of line up accordingly. And just bounce back and forth. And let's see how that looks. So I'm going to hit save. And so on and so forth. So with that, you know, and that might be too much detail. I'm not sure yet. Um, it might be, it might not be. Uh, so it just, just kind of depends on what, what I want to put on there. Um, at this point, I might say it's too much detail, and I just want to call it finished. Um, so I'm just going to go back in and kind of erase uh, the, the darks here. And go in and erase the highlights. Kind of do something like that. And 
and just kind of erase. And it would help actually if I can share my screen here. So I just so I just erase this. And maybe it's just a simple, maybe I want to simplify this a little bit more and simply go into undo here. Maybe simply go into my brush and just do something like this. And that might be just good enough for all that I need. So I'll just kind of put in. Go in the eraser here, clean that out, and on the brush, just go in and something like this, and that that might be all that I need. Um, you know, sometimes too much is is uh, is um, basically just too much, um, and sometimes it's just you don't need as much detail or anything like that and so basically that's pretty much the gist of, of painting it and as you can see I still have some cleanup to do but I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me kind of p play with pixels and tweak um, so I'm gonna just do that real quick and clean up that and uh, that'll be it move on to the next thing